Insulin resistance is a condition where the cells in your muscles, fat, and liver don't respond well to insulin, so they have difficulty getting glucose, sugar, from your blood. To compensate, your pancreas produces more insulin, which is a hormone that regulates blood glucose levels and is essential for life. Insulin resistance can be temporary or chronic and is treatable in some cases. As long as your pancreas can make enough insulin to compensate for your cell's poor response to it, your blood sugar levels will stay within a healthy range. However, if your pancreas can't make enough insulin, it leads to high blood glucose levels, called hyperglycemia, which can lead to prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance is linked to several other health conditions, including obesity, cardiovascular disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, metabolic syndrome, and polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS. Insulin resistance is not yet fully understood. It can be caused by various factors, such as family history of type 2 diabetes, physical inactivity, and excess body fat, especially around the belly. Scientists have identified genes that make a person more or less likely to develop insulin resistance, and older people are more prone to it. If you have insulin resistance, your pancreas can increase insulin production to keep your blood sugar levels in a normal range. As a result, you won't experience any symptoms. However, if left untreated, insulin resistance can worsen over time, leading to hyperglycemia. This can cause symptoms such as increased thirst, frequent urination, increased hunger, and blurred vision. You might also experience headaches, vaginal and skin infections, as well as slow healing cuts and sores. It's important to note that you can't tell if someone has this condition just by looking at them. Insulin resistance can progress to prediabetes. In many cases, people with prediabetes may not experience any symptoms for years until it develops into type 2 diabetes. However, some may see darkened skin in their armpit, on their back and neck, or small growths called skin tags. People with prediabetes may even have symptoms such as damage to the eyes, blood vessels, and nerves that could be signs of worsening insulin resistance. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to see your healthcare provider. It's hard to diagnose insulin resistance because there are no routine tests for it. Your healthcare provider will consider several factors when assessing insulin resistance, including medical history, family history, a physical exam, and signs and symptoms. To overcome insulin resistance, exercise regularly, reduce stress, get enough sleep, eat a healthy diet by limiting carbohydrates, unhealthy fats, sugar, red meats, and processed starches. Instead, opt for whole foods like vegetables, fruits, whole grains, fish, and lean poultry. Over time, these lifestyle modifications can increase insulin sensitivity, which means reduced insulin resistance, lower your blood glucose levels, decrease blood pressure, decrease triglyceride and LDL cholesterol levels, and raise HDL cholesterol levels. If you have already been diagnosed with insulin resistance or related conditions, visit your healthcare provider regularly to ensure your blood sugar levels are in a healthy range and the treatment is effective. If you have a family history of diabetes or have any conditions that can lead to insulin resistance, it's important to discuss these with your healthcare provider. However, if you experience any symptoms of high blood sugar, prediabetes, or diabetes, it's best to get in touch with your healthcare provider immediately. They can conduct simple tests to check your blood sugar levels and discuss your risk of developing insulin resistance.